Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Chris aka okay, the IT guy. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and install the last programming language on Windows 10. Like for every programming language when it comes to setting up the environment, the first step to do is to follow the instructions on how to set up the environment so as to be able to deploy or to run your app in the environment that is working fine. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see how we can do this one. The first thing that you have to do is to go and open your browser, your favorite browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome. You can use any browser that you like. There's no problem about that one. And what you're going to go and do is go and type last and press enter. And the first link that will come will be from last-lang.org. And it will give some description about uh, what it is. If you don't know what Rust is, you can come here and visit this uh, description about the last programming language. And once you are done, you can go ahead and click on the first link to enter now into the website. And once you are in here, you can see there will be a lot of things here. But what we are interested in is to get the setup. To get the setup, you can go ahead and press on install. And once you press install, there will be a lot of options here to choose from. There will be uh, the download for the last app in it for the 32-bit operating system. And there will be also uh, the, the, the last app in it.exe for 64-bit. But before we proceed, there will be also another uh, prerequisite or the other package dependency that we have to install which is now the visual studio c++ tools and i will show you how to do that in a moment so let's go ahead and see if there is no other requirements i think there is no other one uh, unless it, they can tell you on how to uninstall when you don't want to use the last anymore you can go ahead and proceed with the instructions about uh, performing the uninstallation all right so let's go ahead and choose this because I'm learning the 64-bit operating system. So I would go and choose this last app in it exe, exe for 64-bit. Go ahead and click on here and give it time to download. And in this case, it is now taking like eight or whatever seconds as I'm talking to now that it's not that heavy. And once it will be ready, uh, let's wait for it to be ready. And once you reveal it, you can go ahead and click on this executable. And once you click on that, it will tell you that it is now opening. And you have to minimize this. And it will come like this one. And as you are seeing, it didn't give me any error about uh, installing the, uh, the this dependency that we are seeing up on here. And uh you can see if you don't have it you can go ahead and click on here and you have to perform the installation first but if you didn't get any problem at all you can proceed with this one so let's go ahead and proceed with the installation as default go ahead and choose one and press enter and in this case what it will do it will try now to install this and you have to give it a time so as to be able to finish on here and let's wait for this to be completed Alright, and once this is now complete, you can see that there will be this uh, green text that will tell us that uh, this now is installed and it will also tell us that the last is installed now. Great! Alright, and before we press enter to continue, uh, I will have to copy this uh, directory or uh, this directory path which is now for the user profile.cargo.bin and we have to copy this because we need it in a moment and once we are done copying that go ahead and press enter okay and the next thing that we have to do after now the window is gone you can go ahead and click on start and after doing that you can type emv to open the system environment variables 
and once it will come like this go ahead and click on this uh, to open the, envir the environment variables it will bring the system properties and a lot of buttons here to choose from uh, but in this case i'm going to choose the environment variables and once i am in here i will see there will be a lot of a uh, lot of things and the, the list which is now long because i have uh, been putting the environment variables on here for my computer and other applications so what i'm going to do is to go on path and click on edit and once you see that there there is no uh this there's no path like this one you can go ahead and click on new and you have to copy uh, to paste the, the the link that we created and you remember to remove this and after doing that you can go ahead and press ok and you press ok again and press ok again and once you are done doing that you can go ahead and press windows R to open the run command and it will, uh, you will go ahead and type cmd and once i am in cmd i can go ahead and type last I made an error you can go ahead and type last app like this and press enter and once you press enter to give you all these sub commands that you can choose from and to show you on how to do other things according to these uh, sub commands that you will give you and when you take a closer look there will be now to show the the active and installed two channels or profiles and other bunch of stuff that you can perform from there all right so you're going to go ahead and see on how now we can create a new app by using this uh, command prompt and this is very easy to do and to create a new project you can go ahead and type cargo on uh, you and type project like this one and once you are done go ahead and press enter and what we do to try to create a project and it is now uh, it is created a binary application uh, project package and when you try to list the content of this you can see that the project will be on here when you change the directory to the project uh, let's do that cd project uh, project like this let's type project jesus project and when you try to list the content you will see that there will be a uh, this and this one and the source so you can also change the directory to the source to see what's now on there and you do this you will do, see that there will be this main RS. you can go ahead and perform the edit of this file and put your codes that you want to learn and that is basically how you can set up the rust on windows 10 in easy steps i hope you guys you found this very helpful and interesting let me know in the comments if you met with any error or any problem i will be always here to help you like every time and give a thumbs up to this video if you did like it for real and if you are coming on this channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe for the more videos like this one and from now till next time i will see you guys in the next video peace out